um, a notorious history with an all chain, which is kind of like how how would you approach software upgrades? Um, and uh, we explored like last month, kind of the user experience around that. Then um, we did hit kind of a bunch of complexity. We 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 revisited the topic. We reevaluated re it. We decided the simplest uh, first step would be to make it so that you can just export a project, and you could already do that, but you couldn't import a project. So um, so we figured people could migrate. They could update their software. Uh, just manually, and at the same time, uh, if you could have exported uh, your data from one version, then you could import it into the next one, and people could be kind of like guided through that process for for, for now um, in that way. And so we worked on the export import feature. So that's so. a new feature that we'll see um, here. <laughs> no. Um, so we are now signed in. Uh, we're not gonna go through the, uh, the sign up process again. Um, so here you are in the dashboard and um, we have already two projects, um, but um, we'd like to, um, like we are imagining that this is a new version of the app. We have updated the app and we have already exported the app um, which I can show. Exported a, a project. Uh, yeah, sorry, exported the project, uh, which is uh, when you go to the project, you can click on export icon and export it as JSON, which is importable or CSV, which is not. Um, so if you have like a file, a JSON file of the project, I keep that. Um, and then here you are. Uh, with an updated app, um, you can use the import feature here. Yeah, so that's a new that's a new feature is this import button, and you can then browse this one. Yeah. So you pick a JSON file, and uh, yeah, it goes into its its kind of loading state if it's a valid uh, if it's a valid JSON file and a valid um, Acorn project, and then um, it's migrating all your kind of data from that version into the new project which is created, which is um, Again, in an Acorn situation, that's actually like a new DHT to each project. Each project is a private um, DHT. So, um, yeah, so this one has like a number of different, uh, like, of goals that it's going through the process of importing. And there's all of this, uh, this um, different kinds of metadata that exists in a project because you've got goals, you've got what we call edges, which are the relationships between goals. And then you've got goal comments, goal votes, goal members, which are um, the idea of sort of like, is someone assigned to this or that kind of thing? And it's uh, importing all of those things as well as these things that we call entry points, which are uh, kinds of like frames in Miro or something, a kind of like kind of like a, a context, um, a context box for a specific part. Let's see. Depending oh. on how big um, your project is, uh, the time for importing. Um, would be different do you think that's not the case no i'm guessing okay. i'm guessing it i'm guessing that something went wrong okay <laughs> <laughs> so we, we can let's see. can try it has like it has timeouts let's see oops let a little oh socket it's not open Okay, wait a minute. Oh, um, we've okay. Got, we've got like, we totally. Okay, we totally forgot about one fact that. Um, 
while we're running uh, yeah. IMVP again, we got to be more careful about switching between those yeah. two because it's okay. Yeah, uh, a fun fact because we forked um, for IMP to be forked Acorn uh, code base, uh, and uh, so we we wrote IMP to be based on Acorn. Um, and so there are some uh, similarities there uh, that we haven't touched. Um, uh, so we have to close uh, IMP to be right now if you want to okay. uh, pull up Acorn. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. That's being very naive. Yeah. Um, but that's that's like that's showing how um, it's a good resource now. We have built Acorn. We can like just fork it and not re reinvent the wheel. Yeah, especially again. because it takes a long time and a lot of work to even to do the sort of, um, to create the, the, the infrastructure, all the right. build demands and everything like that around, um, around a project, around a uh, Holochain project. Um, so yeah, it's, much, it's very useful to have kind of something like a template that you can uh, that you can start from and yeah uh, and go off of and know that you know the general the general uh stuff is there we get started okay so i think um i think we're going with this now let me just quickly check yeah it's working yeah There. Yep. Yay. Yay. Adoption of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, was the name of the project. Our seven goals was successfully imported. So that brings in this um, this project, and uh, it should have all of its kind of contents and metadata in the same uh, the same fashion as it was um, exported. So. Um, this was like a little test map that I created about what would what would need to happen maybe for peer to peer become like adopted around the world. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of that's the import export feature which helps us with kind of the, the migrating um, between versions, which yeah. you have. Um, you kind of need something along those lines. It either, it either needs to be an automated process of migrating, or it can be a slightly more manual process of migrating between those, between those versions. Um, and we've kind of at least explored this, uh, this manual one. And we've, we've kind of, we've done the design for the automated one, but we did find that the implementation prove, was going to prove quite challenging. And we're still, we're still kind of lining up for that automated experience of um, of migrating between between software versions with Holochain, it's a it's actually a really interesting design problem as well as technical problem. Um, and uh, did we talk about entry points? I don't know before? if we've kind of really shown entry points. Just to show it quickly. Yeah. So um, we um, have this feature called entry points. Uh, which acts as kind of like a gateway um, for a card, for a specific goal card um, that can be accessed uh, from the dashboard. Um, so just to show you, for example, what I'm talking about, for example, I want to create, uh, make this an entry point. Um, I go to the expanded view mode and uh, there's this little icon, a door icon uh, when I open the door, that shows, uh, that becomes, this card becomes an entry point. Um, and uh, I can see also here uh, the, the list of my entry points here. And now if I go back to dashboard, um, here uh, under the title of the of the project, um, there's says uh, there's a saying one entry point. 
and it shows mm -hmm. here shows up here so if you have multiple entry points within like a huge map mm -hmm. and you have these like points that you want to like tag or something like draw people's attention to if you're co mm -hmm. kind of co-managing a large or complex project yeah yeah so yeah like if if uh yeah if you want to directly go to that it will bring you to this section that is starts from that entry point and any other children that that card has that's an entry point yeah so it sort of encapsulates everything inside of or or under that's nested under that goal as part of that entry point so you, it kind of becomes this encapsulation of um the kind of entire scope because based on the mental model of, of ACORN, this thing, all of these things are included in the scope of this thing. Uh, and so that's why we get this sort of visual, this visual frame and it feels kind of, um, and if we create new uh, information into the map, it kind of, uh, it will push it um, kind of separately outside of that uh, and indicate that separation. Um, so if we make that, way. that it also shows you that it's oh yeah it yeah it, it expands the it. yeah um, so it's it's it like it's more dynamic than something that you see in Miro which is kind of like just a, a rectangle it has no mental model but this um, this is an encapsulation and kind of expands and shrinks to to the um, it's a container that expands and shrinks to the size of the contents. Um, yeah, and you can you can have multiple and multiple can be showing at the same time just showing yeah. um, showing up kind of part of it too. Okay. Oh, click this one over here. Make that one one two. Hmm. And then uh, you can you can actually, bring focus to multiple at the same time. And it's kind of showing them here. And it's also showing that these entry points are in focus um, kind of up here. So it's a way of, uh, because these trees, like we're just showing kind of small ones, but in reality, these trees are gonna grow really large uh, mm -hmm. as you actually are using, as you're using this. So, um, so we felt that it was really important to incorporate a way to better access and organize the information especially from the dashboard which is so now um, you see two yeah. entry points here so those are um i think uh, the new kind of features uh in acorn and the, the only other kind of aspect well the other aspects of what's been done on it is is largely kind of invisible to the user interface um there are a bunch of like stylistic improvements that Peg has made, but the other stuff is um, uh, like over the last month or two, Holochain's gone through major breaking changes as they kind of have um, have done a big upgrade to the, uh, in particular, like the HAP installation process and the, the way that DNAs are managed and HAPs are managed uh, in the, in the, Polishing conductor and stuff like that. And so um, we kind of waited a little bit with Acorn for the dust to settle a little bit um, on that stuff before trying to just, uh, before trying to make the update. And um, uh, so we recently did the big update and um, it went over fairly smoothly, which was, which was really nice because uh, it can be, be hard to find your way around um, and to figure out all what exactly has changed and that kind of thing. I know that a lot of developers are um, kind of really struggling with that with Holochain right now. Um, if you're like kind of building on it, uh, trying to build on it consistently. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to again, uh, basically share the code of Acorn soon and to reveal, to kind of show, to give people uh, another shot at a working code base um, that's all kind of up to date and that hopefully is easy for people to like uh, to kind of grab onto as an example of um, like here's a 
here's a full full fledged piece of software that's running on it, and here's how we've configured it uh, to to make that work. So I'm gonna hopefully gonna I'll share the link with you, David and Steph, for for that um, like after this. Super. Yeah. Amazing.